Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the second important part of a typical flower which is known as corolla. So let's look into what is corolla of a typical flower. Corolla, this is the second role as compared to the calyx which we have discussed in our previous video which were the sepals. Now we are going to talk about the corolla. Corolla, they consist of the petals. As you can see over here, these are the corolla, the yellow colored full portion which we are seeing. These are the corolla or the petals of a typical flower. They are usually very brightly colored. Why? The reason because of being brightly colored is that in order to attract insects or pollinating agents for the process of pollination. Now, what is the function of pollination or why pollination is essential? Pollination is essential for the flowers or for the plants bearing flowers in order to perform the sexual reproduction, right? So pollination is done or aided by the brightly colored petals of a flower. They can be of two types. That means pet petals, they can be of two types. They can be gamopetalous. What do we mean by gamopetalous? When all these petals, for example, if there are five petals in a flower, if all the petals are fused together or they are united, they look like a single petal, then they are known as gamopetalous. On the other hand, if all the five petals or the number of petals a typical flower has, all are not united and they are not fused with each other, they are free, then they are known as the polypetalous flowers. These petals we are talking about, they can be tubular, they can be bell shaped, they can also be funnel shaped and also wheel shaped. So they can be of different shaped structure. Now let us talk about the different functions of a typical corolla. Corolla, as we have discussed, they attract insects for pollination and this pollination is required for the process of sexual reproduction in flowering plants. They also play an important part in protecting the essential organs of the flower in the young condition. What are the essential uh, portions of a flower? Those are the androecium and the gynecium or the stamens and the carpels which are the reproductive organs of a typical flower. So these essential organs are protected by the flowers, specifically in the young condition when the flower is very much susceptible to damage. So in this young condition, they are protected by the petals or the corolla. They also regulate the entry of particular type of insects based on the various shapes. So based on some a typical shape of a typical flower or the petals, some insects can enter into these flowers and in turn they can aid in the process of pollination. So in this video, we have talked about the second important part of a typical flower which is corolla and also we have discussed about some of the important functions of the corolla. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.